Welcome to this episode of YGOP TV, and today we're here at Walmart on Saren Drive. This is Walmart Marketplace, and today we are meeting with pharmacist Kevin. How, How are you, buddy? Doing? Good to meet you. All right, good. So, Kevin is the head pharmacist here at the Saren Drive Walmart, and today the reason why we wanted to be here is because we wanted to talk about this upcoming flu season. As we know, last year, flu was wiping out a bunch of our schools. We had, I think we had something like, in our system, about 15 schools that shut down due to flu. So we're wondering what's going to happen this year, Kim. Have you, do you receive any kind of forecast of what's coming? Well, we, don't, we don't necessarily receive a good forecast. The flu shot is based upon what happens overseas. So they make the viral, the, the strain, they make the strain of the flu shot that we get up here okay. based on what happens overseas. Okay. They're ahead of us in the flu season. Oh. So Australia had a really bad flu season this past year. Oh. So what they do is they base that upon the forecast upon what happened in Australia. So if you, if you look at the forecast, it kind of shows that's going to be a pretty bad season again. And, and historically, that's been because the last two years, we focused a lot on COVID. Yes. Not enough on flu. Yes. So people go in, they get their COVID shots, right? But they're not getting those flu shots because they think the COVID and the flu are together and it's going to protect them and it doesn't do it. Just like your shirt, you can't stop. You can stop the stop, but you can't. Uh, if you, you get the get flu, flu shot, shot you, you know? got to get that flu shot. And, and you know, and that's important for everybody to make sure that they do get immunized with that flu shot. And we have flu shots from the from the toddlers from the age of okay. three up, and then we also have when you turn 65, we have a high dose flu shot that you should get once okay. you turn the age of 65. Okay. And so we encourage everybody to get a flu shot. And there's misnomers out there that if you're allergic to eggs, you can't get a flu shot, but you can, because we have a special strain of that that doesn't have any kind of egg component in it. So we have really three different flu shots that you will get. Okay, okay. Now, with the spreading the flu, because we're in schools, and you know, being in schools, and we're having the golf clubs, and everybody's touching things, and of course, we are always preaching about washing hands, covering your nose when you sneeze and everything, but in the action of our program, you can't always wash your hands every time you touch a club. So what are some of the things you think kids should do to help mitigate spreading the flu to, I mean, or just spreading any virus to each other? If you think about it, kids are social people, right? And yes. They're going to spread. It yes. isn't going to stop that at all. Yeah. But like you said, good hand washing techniques. And if you're on the golf course, you can't be change, you can't be cleaning your hand off every yeah. single yeah. time. Yeah. But if you're going to share something, my suggestion is you use good hand sanitizing techniques. You know, use some of that uh, pure purell, exactly. um, and that does a good job of sanitizing the hands. In addition trying to make sure that you don't put yourself in situations where you are in close contact with somebody else's uh, uh, yes. sneezes and, yes. and bodily fluids that come out once you sneeze. Yes, we do that. That's some of the things that we preach. And then we are also, even though everybody's starting to let their guard down, like COVID is over. We know that COVID is not over. It may have subsided or what would you say, leveling out? Yeah, I would say it's leveled out. Okay, all right, but still we need to be aware and use good hygiene and just like you said earlier, because there's still a chance, what is the chance of the catching COVID? I, it's, I think it's much less only because people have gotten immunized, okay. number one. Okay. And uh, uh, number two, I think the COVID strain has uh, already uh, morphed into different strains and people have already experienced that. I okay. think the most vulnerable people, those that kids that have asthma, okay. or the adults that, that have chronic conditions that, that uh, could harm their healthcare uh, longevity okay. in case that they get hospitalized. Because, you know, as you know, um, anytime anybody gets any type of virus, it takes your immune system and it really knocks it down. Yes, yes. So if you already have a compromised immune system, like a kid with asthma, you got a better chance that that kid ended up having some worst kind of outcome, maybe you can get hospitalized. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Trust me, I've seen it firsthand. So, but, I mean, moving forward, we're definitely going to continue. We've been working with Walmart now going into our 14th year. So, we've been spreading the health and wellness through 
our golfer STEM health and wellness curriculum. So it's always nice to be able to come in and get some professional advice so that we can incorporate it in with our programs that we're teaching kids because of course everybody knows the basics but it's always nice to come in and get it from a real pharmacist and we want to thank you for giving us the information and hopefully we'll continue to lean on you for more information. Well I look forward to working with you all in the future and you know what you guys do is awesome and educating the community yes. and uh, getting the kids out there and letting them know that there is a future for them and there's something for them to do you know, instead of going out there and doing things they shouldn't be doing, yes. and also yes. educate them on the healthcare aspects of, of the society. Well, I appreciate that, and I want to thank you, thank you for sir. giving us that information, and hopefully we'll be back here to see you again, and thank you for participating in this episode of YGOP TV here at Serenjara Market Center. Thank you.